Good morning. I obviously just just uh, rolled out of bed and got doing my thing. But just uh, having some thoughts this morning, and this is probably the only time I'm going to have, um, or one of the only times I'm going to have, to uh, to just share some thoughts. Um, specifically around food. This holiday is really about food, isn't it? Uh, with that in mind, say hi to my chicks. They'll be coming in and out here. I just love to be with them. It does something for me. But um, food, 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 food. <laughs> Would, here's a question. Here's a, a thought provoking question. Would a wolf sit and watch, say, a herd of deer eat what they eat, and would that wolf be preoccupied with, I'm not going to eat that, and would the deer be, <laughs> would they be thinking, uh, why is he not eating this? Why is she not participating? Why is she not eating? If we could get to a place, see, food can be a lot like religion. Um, and we have to realize that human complexity, you might say, well, a wolf is a wolf and wolves are wolves and deer are deer. And, uh, you know, this is the same species. But if you haven't figured it out, human complexity is profound. And you are just, hey, bud. Hey there. Hi human complexity oh my gosh come on like if you haven't figured it out yet certain cultures like to eat certain things certain cultures are attracted to certain things um we're not all one and the same we're not all cut from the same cloth and that's why what we try to do with the r shred is is we try to leave it open-ended we really do try to leave it open-ended so you can decide you can choose what's what for you and what what works for for you with that in mind, are you going to have people who, seeing that you're not eating what they're eating, this is where it gets unfortunate, like religion. Because it's like, wait, you don't believe what I believe? What does that mean about you? What does that mean about me? What does that say? What is that, you know, I need you to, to see it the way I see it. I need you to believe what I believe. I need you to understand because I need to feel validated and I need to be right. And we need to be on the same, you know, moral playing field. And it's all a bunch of garbage. Don't worry about what other people eat. Please don't even notice. When you go shopping, please don't notice what's in other people's carts. That's their business. Like, yeah, I want to change the world. I'm passionate about that. I want people eating the right things in terms of what serves their body, what's nutrition. Uh, however... You know, if I'm operating from a, a space of what we call <laughs> intolerance or self-righteousness, like, you know, I know what's best. I'm better than everybody else. I have more discipline than everybody else. Don't go there. Please don't go there. Um, people pick up on that, and it's grossly, grossly intolerant. Yep. Yep. Hold on. So with that in mind, I encourage you to just do you, do your thing. And, you know, don't try to make a big deal out of it. Like me at my family dinner, I'm just going to eat what I eat. What's my food? I'm not going to be preoccupied with what other people eat. I ain't going to be thinking about it. I ain't going to be looking at it. I don't really care. It's that's just not my space to be in. Um, if food comes up, just, <laughs> there's a reason they say don't talk religion and don't talk politics uh, because it can be incredibly divisive. And as you know, I'm not afraid to go there on, on uh, such matters. I'm steering clear of the politics because that, that world is just way too charged right now. Um, nor do I really want to be preoccupied with politics. It's just too consuming for, for me personally and, and puts me in a, a, bad, a bad state. But with that said, religion, I've backed off on that like crazy too because I think I was just trying to feel validated. I was trying to make sure that, that, that I had things right and that people understood me. Who cares if people understand me? This is my life. This is my life. 
So around food, this is your life. This is your body. This is your journey. Just keep that about you. If, uh, if someone says, you know, why are you not eating the, 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 the yams with all the marshmallows on top? <laughs> why are you not eating the fruit salad? Why are you not, e why are you not eating the pie? You know, just, just don't go there. Just try to just, just say to yourself, that that is a personal decision. I'm not going to go there in this environment. I'm not going to start a charge subject matter uh, where people feel threatened and people feel judged and people feel as though I have made myself out to be more disciplined and more, uh, you know, health conscious than they are. That's not going to go over very well. So, you know, it's like with my own children. Do my children still want treats and candies and so? Yes. Yes. Now, I've made it very clear to my children why we're not, why we're eating less and less and less of that stuff. Do the younger ones really comprehend why? No, no, they don't comprehend it. Not yet. Um, the older two are getting it. They're starting to comprehend why mom and dad feel so passionate about, you know, what these culprit ingredients are doing to our bodies and our minds and everything else. The younger ones, it's tough because, you know, do they feel judged when they do eat the, the donut? Do they feel judged when they do eat the, the candy? And, um, you know, we just, we're trying our darndest. We're trying our best to ensure that they don't feel judged, but that they kind of have an understanding of why we have parameters, why we have structure, uh, limits, and why we, you know, are we're building upon that. Um, again, personal things, guys, very personal in nature. Uh, but I would just encourage you, be secure with where you are. Be secure with what you're learning about you. Be secure in your journey. Make that about you. You don't have to make that about other people. You don't need other people on board with you to, in order for you to feel validated. You don't. It's your journey, very personal in nature. Um, if people at some point or another say, I noticed that that serves you and I noticed that you seem to be doing really well and you seem to be thriving and I'd like to learn about that, you know, then that's different. And in time, I still encourage you, don't go there during the holiday. I wouldn't. Get back to them because you're going to open up a big old can of, of uh, you know, Pandora's box, if you will. You're going to open that up. And then there's going to be some defensiveness, naturally. I know what I'm doing. I know what's right. You know, I practice moderation. You should practice moderation. All this kind of stuff. Guys, come on, man. Find what serves you. Be secure in that. Don't force that upon other people. Let's get to a place of tolerance. Uh, let's get to a place of security. And let's not go there and make people feel challenged one, one way or the other either side. So for instance, we go out to eat with my family and we go to this restaurant. There's all these desserts and pastries and treats. And, you know, I, I haven't had any of that stuff for a very long time. It's fascinating how that is threatening to my own family. They're threatened by me not partaking in the pastries and, and, you know, all the cookies and the goodies. They're threatened by that for some reason. They'll see this video, and, and I don't mean this in a demeaning way, but for some reason it's like they got to get me to be more human because it makes them feel better about themselves and their humanity and that, you know, they do indulge. And, you know, I, I would say what other animal indulges like that? I don't know, but, you know, again, no judgment. I know how our world is. Look at every holiday. It's Every holiday has got to be about... Lots of goodies, lots of, it's not about like go out and get as good of quality, nutritious, dense food you can get and throw a good, powerful feast and let's, let's nourish these bodies, let's thrive. It's always about garbage, from my point of view, that doesn't serve us. And why is it that way? Because of marketers, because of, you know, stress, because marketers play on stress, all kinds of things. But bottom line is, why were they so desperate to get me to succumb? Come on, just have a bite. Come on, one bite's not going to hurt. 
And I'm like, no, I'm on a streak. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. I kind of, you know, I don't need to. Come on, just, just one, just do it. You know, and once you start to understand human nature, psychology, the psychology of the human, you understand why they're doing that to you. It's not disrespect towards you personally. It's about them, right? So just, just set hard boundaries. Oh, no, no, I, that's just not my thing. I don't even like that. Like, And al alcohol, like, do you really go out to drink with people? Are they really that insistent that you drink? Shouldn't that be a very personal thing? I, I would take offense if someone was like, come on, just have one. Come on, come on, you're no fun. It's like, that's a very personal thing for various reasons. It should be the same around food, like back the F off. Leave, leave people alone. Don't try to get them to eat things they don't want to eat. Don't even, don't even notice what they eat. Eat your stuff, let them eat what they want to eat. Simple, simple. Should be the same with religion. Should be the same way. Back to F off. You want to believe something, believe it. But don't try to act like you know better. Don't try to act like, well, your way is the right way and that you're more righteous and you're more blessed and you're more everything because of this knowledge and because of this. Don't do that, guys. Around politics, around religion, around food, around dietary habits, like let's chill and back off. Don't go there. That would be my recommendation. I, I hope that's helpful for you. Can we say goodbye, chicks? <laughs> Who do we got back here? Oh. He's the, well, she. But she's a he and, and he's a pest. Because no way would a hen be that. I mean, this, this chicken is just something. I got to name it. Dennis. You're the menace. You're Dennis.